welcome to the next part of Let's Play The Sims 4 Tiny Town Challenge. Thank you guys so much for so many lovely comments in the first part. You guys sound like you're as hyped as I am. There was some really great feedback as well. So if you haven't seen the first part yet, check that out. Actually, just before we do get into it, as a reminder, there is a up to 60% off sale right now on Sims titles from the EA app or EA.com. You can use my creator code, Deligracy, at the checkout in the promo code box, and that directly supports me as a creator, even more so during a sale. Thank you guys so much for your support. Thanks to EA for sponsoring this part of the video. So welcome back to our tiny town. For anyone who hasn't seen the last part or is a little bit confused by the rules, just as a reminder, the goal is to build seven tiny homes, the seven pre-made Sims, and together that will form a tiny community. Each Sim has a designated skill that will fund their tiny home, and you must build their tiny home in their specific decor style and also in their signature color. Our first Sim that we got with the randomizer is Azure Hue. She's making money through painting. Her house is going to be a contemporary boho style and her signature color is blue. So we've got the very beginning of a little tiny home that I'm hoping will eventually be two story and have lots of decor and a nice garden. So we need to jump back into it. A few of you guys said that you were trying to do the challenge. Actually, let's get you some food just to fill up on and go to the toilet. We'll just get all of your needs full. You could have a shower in your new shower room. A few of you guys were saying that you downloaded this lot because it is on the gallery and these boxes that are meant to have their names on them and also have some helpful items within them, they don't actually upload to the gallery with items. So I'm going to try and re-upload the lot with the items next to the box, hoping that that'll work instead and then you can just put them in the box. Also, I love how she was using her tent instead of a new house. Like you're just making it harder for yourself, Azure. Now, one thing I had absolutely forgotten about is the drawing tablet, the digitalist digitalistic sketch pad. This actually allows you to paint a lot more quickly than painting on a canvas. So I feel like it is definitely worth us getting one of these, even though it's going to cost us 750 simoleons. Hopefully we're going to have enough money to actually paint on this. Like, does it even cost to do a painting? It still costs. I mean, I don't know why. Maybe it's Adobe charging. <laughs> Sim Derby. All right, let's do a large abstract picture. I heard that abstract paintings and classical are the biggest money makers. And I thought we had a bin in here somewhere. Where'd our bin go? Oh, it's just at the front here. Okay, we'll chuck that out. Now, every time I do a challenge, you guys say, you need to use the money making bin, but really the cost of the bin and how quickly you make the money back usually doesn't make sense. It's usually not worthwhile, especially because we need to spend money on canvases and the house. Oh, that's awesome. That's looking good. We'll have a tiny home in no time. I think she's doing that really bad abstract piece that we did in the last episode. Yeah, just the squiggle. No, why did you do that? Can we sell this? No, we can't. Dang it. Now we have to, now we have to do a, a pop-up painting. Okay, well, we'll just do a whole heap of paintings and then we can sell them all. We'll go back to the gallery where we have the audacity to not sell our paintings outside the gallery, but we sell them inside the gallery. That's how, how confident we are. So we are bound to succeed. Oh, and snaps, this is a masterpiece. So it's worth 1300 simoleons. Good one. I actually think that is so cute. It reminds me of my dog. Let's do a classic painting. Oh no, we don't have enough money. Dang it. Uh, what can we sell? Mm, that's only $5. Those are only $40. 30, 40, 50. I really should have just dragged the whole stack, but here we are. We're doing it individually. We might have enough money to do a small abstract painting. No, no, we don't use the easel anymore. You know what? Maybe we should just sell the easel, but I just like it for decor. If we put it in our inventory, I don't think she's gonna pull out and do a painting that way. <gasps> Oh, you did not just dirty up another character's workstation. A few of you guys were saying, why don't you put fences around these? And that's not a bad idea because then we can add a gate and lock the gate and only allow those creative Sims to use that space. 
So that would, that's probably a good idea. I might update that as well. Uh, the classic Frieza bunny painting, we love that. Quality, another masterpiece? Wow, because we're feeling so confident and we're a perfectionist, so it's probably increasing the likelihood of doing that. We also need to do another emotional painting. So you know what, why don't we go into the city? Or we could just go into town here because Henford on Bagley is such a beautiful world. Why don't we just go near the gnome's arms? The local pub. I mean, this world, I think this world has been voted as one of the favorites multiple times. Let's just set this up here. Cecilia is always calling us. I've been thinking of getting a new job. I mean, sure, go for it. I don't actually know what your original job was. I don't think we actually know. High school graduate, okay. Yeah, you could get a job. Oh, we do have one painting here already. Okay, let's add all of these on. Stock the table and turn the table. Oh, are we trying to are we trying to sell a blank canva canvas? What is this? Uh, I don't even know what that is. You know what? In actual galleries in the we in the real world, <laughs> in the real world, there's always the blank painting that's apparently a masterpiece. I don't get it. And I studied art. Also, what's the markup at? It's still at 200%. Because we realized in the last part, 300 percent is way too much. I'm just gonna fast forward this. Let's get these sales. Let's make this money. We have got an absolute crowd here today. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling big money. Why is no one buying anything? This looks like an expensive area. I don't know. Why do we have a singing skill all of a sudden? It's the happiest hour for all cheapskate sims. Everyone enjoys drinks at a discounted price. Oh no. Oh no, we've got the, we've set up right near all the cheapskate sims. We're gonna have to mark down the price. Okay, we'll do 100%. I mean, trust us to set up on cheapskate night. <laughs> Jesus, that is so loud. Okay, we sold one for 600 bucks. Oh, oh, the money's coming in. We've just got to sell this little one. Uh, excuse me, uh, excuse me, ma'am. Ariana, this is, this is inappropriate. Look at him, Simon, stop looking. Nigel, stop looking. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, seeing as though we're about to pass out, I think I'm gonna call it a night. So let's put this back in our inventory and head on home. But we've still got $4,000, that's pretty good. I think we should do another batch of paintings with that money that we've made, and then we can get really into the tiny house building. And what I really love about this challenge is that there's so much building involved Involved. I wanted to create a challenge where there's gameplay, storytelling if you want, and, and also building all the time. So I feel like, and I also love Animal Crossing and Disney Dreamlight Valley. So it's kind of all the things I like in, in one challenge. Oh, love day was awful. Okay, we're gonna make that up to you, Azure. I do want you to have a love story. The problem is because you're the first Sim that was picked for this challenge, you kind of get the hardest job because you're alone, field with tents. It's tough. We should really get Azure a date or something because I feel bad. Oh my gosh, it is such a beautiful day here in Tiny Town, Tiny Tent Town. Oh, actually, because we're sad, we can probably do a sad painting. Oh, there's no sad painting option. Okay, why don't we take a focus steamy shower? Let's do a steamy shower because then we'll be flirty, hopefully, and we can paint something flirty and then we can invite a sim round and have a flirtatious aura. Oh yes. Yes, that's what we want. Oh, I just realized you can't do a mood painting on the tablet. Okay, so we're gonna have to do this back on the easel. Okay, Cecilia, how did you go? You got the job. I don't know what job you got. You're a babysitter at the Munchkin Menagerie. Oh, this is so cute. She is painting what she dreams to have one day. If you wanted to make this challenge harder, you could add the requirement to finish each aspiration as well for every sim. I love this. It's so sweet. 308 simoleons, not bad. Not bad. Oh man, she started to do another painting again. Oh well, we'll just go with the flow. We're so close to level eight painting skill, which is really very exciting because when we get to level 10, our paintings are gonna be worth a lot more. Let's take another steamy shower after having something to eat. See if we can get into that flirty mood again. <gasps> Throwing pestles at romance festival. Who is this person who invited us? Mackenzie? Want to find out if it's true? Okay, well, let's invite Cecilia. I don't really know these other Sims. Like, okay, you guys can all come. We're inviting all our friends and we'll go to the romance festival together. I just realized my aircon was on, so sorry if you guys could hear that, my bad. Okay, so who's the Sim that invited us? 
Do we know them? Mackenzie. We already have a relationship with them and they're a young adult, so I guess they invited us out on a date? I just got butterflies in my stomach. That is so exciting. Where are you? I like, I like the outfit too. I think it's apart from the shoes. I mean, the sho you know, Velcro's coming back in. It's a bit, of, it's having a moment and it's very practical. I do like this fit. Let's joke, joke about getting together. I don't know about that. Let's mention the flirty vibe. Oh man, this is making me feel like some crisps. It's really exciting to have been invited out on a date though. And these two have similar style, don't you think? And she wants to throw petals five times, so we will definitely do that. I just wish there was a romance festival like this in real life because it's so pretty and I love how everything's pink. I wanna go to a romance festival. Oh, okay, this is happening. Oh, here, take the rose petals. Those rose petals would be expensive too. Looks like Asha just befriended a cerebral sim, okay? They're gifted when it comes to endeavors of the mind. So he's like really smart. They might enjoy logical pursuits or weekends spent exploring a great book. In terms of sim preferences, would you say that Asha likes cerebral sims? Yes, yes, a million times yes. Let's enthuse about painting. You know, opposites can attract. And it's not to say painters can't be cerebral as well, but Azure is very much creative. I feel like this is going really well. And I do appreciate that they are becoming friends before lovers. Oh, too many petals. I mean, the game told us to. Oh God, I'm sorry. He's getting bored. Let's pour security together. Do you get it? Security, security. It gives you security. Drink up. I don't know what they put in this tea, but I feel like it's uh, something that would be illegal outside of The Sims world. Oh, we can actually paint while we're here too. <gasps> Confident painting, we should do that. I love the romance festival just because it really gives you a kickstart to a romantic relationship with another Sim. It's got the vibe, it's got the questionable tea. It's a great idea for a first date. Can we sell this picture? <laughs> no, we'd have to purchase it. Honestly though, if this were a festival in real life, it would be pretty dodgy. And it'd be very bold to invite your crush there. Oh, yes. All right, how much is this worth? 374. Put in inventory. Okay. That's good. Well, I don't think we need to, you know, there's no toilets here. Oh my God, it's my my worst nightmare. How can there be no toilets here? There's toilets in here, just use these ones. Maybe she's thinking she's not allowed to use venue toilets, but honey, you can. Wait, our date's speaking to another woman from the Renegades? How could you? Fine, right, he can prove it to us, all right? If he wants this to continue, he can prove to us that he's interested beyond this date. Okay, thanks, we had a great time. We're gonna head home, because we got a tiny town to build, all right? Did that not go so well? Oh, he's annoyed we're leaving early. Well, yeah, you go to bed. That was kind of a little bit of a jerk move. Do we agree that's a jerk move? Going out on a date to a romance festival and then speaking to another woman? I think it's a jerk move. But you know, if he proves it to us, maybe if he calls, I'd be open. I'd be open to, oh yes, level eight, to rekindling this romance. I'm just gonna do a few more paintings and then, and then we'll be able to sell them tomorrow and then get building. I cannot get over how quickly you paint on this sketch pad instead of the easel. I mean, it does make sense. Now we do need to do some excellent paintings as well. So, oh, she started a painting on the easel. I forgot to put it away again. I'm gonna say to complete an excellent painting, we probably need to be in a focused mood or inspired. Oh, wow, I love this. This is cool. That is such a good painting. How is that normal quality? I don't care, it's worth almost $900 anyway. Oh, and it's summer. <gasps> it's taken an entire season to get to this stage. Okay, I'm scared. Let's just go to bed. Oh, heck yeah, the flea market is in town. Let's go. I love the flea market. Oh, we can't travel with anyone. Okay, that's fine. Hey, Panya said they know Mackenzie. He's pretty cool. Hmm, would we trust Panya? I mean, we don't really know you. So I'm gonna say no, I don't trust you. He has to prove himself to us, okay? 
All right, we are absolutely starving, Marvin, so we should try and get some food for starters. Okay, maybe let's order some. You know what would be handy if we ordered <laughs> the pufferfish nigiri? For no particular reason, I repeat, no particular reason would we want to buy pufferfish nigiri. Uh, let's get fur. Fur is a good time. Oh, lovely. Lovely guitar, lovely vibes. Hey, our principal's here. In uniform, she's always in uniform. Oh, Judith is here. Judith is really into the flea market. Oh, trash or tre treasure so far. Is, because we are a bit of a boho sim, is there anything here that could, you know, that we could furnish our house with that could be nice? Oh no, we don't know how to use chopsticks. There's a blue chair over here. I mean, these are nice. Are they a better price than if we bought them from the catalog? We should see actually, because they're $60. I mean, we can hackle a little bit too. Heckle, hackle. Oh, we can't actually buy the, oh yes, we can. So they're usually $80. They are marked down to 60. That's a pretty good price. And the chair is usually 115 now that we've unlocked it. Oh my gosh, this is 86 simoleons. That is an absolute bar again. Wait, how do we know who's selling this? Oh, maybe it's only these things that we can kind of heckle, hackle for on the tables. I think we should buy these. Cause like I said, bargain. I also quite like this, but it's 109 simoleons. That's a lot. That might be too much. Okay, so we bought those. Oh, be sure to check your household inventory. Beautiful. I kind of do like this chair. Let's get the chair as well. This is a bargain too. Beautiful. I love our outfit by the way. Is that not cute? Hey Judith. It's interesting Judith is here. I don't want to judge, but she doesn't look like the kind of sim who wants to buy from a flea market, especially because we know what her house looks like. I hear you're not too good at haggling. Why don't you let me take you to the flea market and show you how a pro gets a good price? Uh, okay. Bring some friends along. Oh, bring Mackenzie and Panya. Yeah, I would love to learn how to heckle because I don't actually know how to because I only know how to heckle from heckle heckle from the vendors here. Or maybe if we just haggle with them. Heckling's when you go to a comedy show and you heckle, right? I don't know why I think haggle is heckle. Tell you what, I'll give you 25%. Dang it, so we probably could have got 25% off the chair had we done that earlier. I'm so silly because what is this? Oh no, we could have got a much better prize. You guys have probably been yelling at the screen. Deli, you've been playing Sims for how long? You're a Sims YouTuber and you don't even know how to do this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay. Hey, we can sell stuff on this table. Look, I'm stressed. Let's blow off some steam. Or should I say blow off some bubbles, get it? All right, everyone. Is this way? Oh, wow, Mackenzie. Whoa, slay in that outfit. Okay, he got over us quick. And we're feeling dazed. Well, it's worth a try. They say you gotta, you gotta experiment. How much is this lamp? 176 simoleons, are you kidding me? Oh, now it's all gone up in price again. Can we get a better price now? It's really nice that we have some friends, you know? Now we're feeling energized. Maybe we should stay on the energized. Okay, we got 25% off. Let's, let's get the lamp. Let's do it. It's a memory. And now let's make back money by selling our paintings. Oh, that's stunning. Wow, you guys. Would anybody like to buy a painting? Oh, Mackenzie's calling. I think Eleanor Sullivan is pretty cute. Should I ask her out? What? What? What a noodle toe. I don't know. That was the most offensive thing I could think of that's YouTube friendly. But are you serious? Who is Eleanor? God, he was meant to ask. I think you should think about it yourself. My God, what kind of a noob? Who's Eleanor? We don't even know her. So you call us and ask us if we think it's a good idea when clearly we don't even know the sim. Hey, the, the, the thing, the whole um display disappeared. I think it actually disappeared with our paintings. Okay, it might actually be all right. They might've gone back to their household inventory potentially. Oh my God. I hope so or else that really. That really sucks. Oh, well, we should always use our own. It just goes to show that you should never trust anyone else with your craft. Okay, let's just see if we can do a quick street sale here, get any extra moolah. Okay, $1,122. That's $796 simoleons, $1,742. And 616 simoleons. Good job, everyone. I'm gonna call it a night. 
We got a healthy 7,269 simoleons in our back pocket. Thank you very much. And hopefully some more painting still when we get home. I don't want to stress you guys out, but Mackenzie just called. I want to know if I should get to know Envy Ramesh a little better. To be honest, I'm not sure. I feel like you are just at this point calling us to make us jealous. And it's working. Okay, it's working. Well, let's check out the gorgeous things we have here to use. When on earth did we get this counter and sink? I guess I really missed that. We have our beautiful chair. So cute. A uh, lantern, which is also very cute. We can also change the colors of these things, right? Oh, and then our other lanterns over here, which I just love went with our boho vibe. Yeah, I definitely think we can start doing a little bit of uh, rearranging. We have our canvases here that looks like we've got some works in progress, but I'm not seeing the other paintings. So either I've made a mistake, but I swear we just lost all of the paintings when that thing disappeared. I'll have to check back in editing, in which case that is very dodgy. I think we can put some money into renovating the kitchen. So let's renovate everybody. Whoa, what just happened? Oh, I placed a counter, right. So I think, I, well, what I was thinking was this would be our kitchen area at the back here. So let us see if we can afford, actually, let's just move that. I mean, I would love to get one of these fridges, but that is like blowing most of our budget, which really is not necessary. We could do like a cute fridge like that, put the sink there and do a stove and oven. Cute. So that's basically a little kitchen. And then the grand idea I had was let's just pop the roof over there, bring our little bathroom over to this side was to build a mezzanine level. Maybe something like this. Oh dear, I have to build, I suppose, an actual upstairs. That, actually this reminds me, I really need to make a version of this wallpaper without the skirting board on it so we can have them across two levels. So I'll add that to my to-do list. We'd have just, you know, a ladder going up here. I'd love to put some trim in here as well. With the ladder placements, kind of putting a spanner in the works with that. There we go. Also, if you ever have roof trim cutting in the wall like this, I think if you just change the type of trim, you can actually find one that doesn't cut in. It's only a, a few of them that do. Like even this really thick one won't cut in. If we ever wanted to, do we want to be able to fit a double bed up here? Like, would we want to have this? It would be nice to. That would mean that this really would have to be extended a little bit. Maybe, I mean, maybe we should do a double bed. That's pretty cool. Or I love this one too. This one's one of my favorite beds. I mean, maybe we could do a wooden wall over this side. What happened to that door? <gasps> We need this. I love the idea of having two of these. Okay, I've kind of gone a little uh, off the original plan here. I, re I basically just really want to use this window. <laughs> I'm like trying to figure out a way to include it. But if we were to include that, it would really need to be single story, I think. I'm just trying so hard here. I mean, that is that is really cool. What if we play around with the idea of this being a single story tiny home, whereby the entrance to the house could be on the side to mix it up a little bit. It'd still have this beautiful canopy. We need to play a test this, obviously. And then I guess we can sell the esky and put these canopies canvases at the end of the bed. That's cute. And then this could be our little lounge room slash studio space. The Sims don't have to have things like TVs, etc. What does this look like from the inside? This could be messy. Uh, that bit's not ideal though, but oh, and that light is not ideal. I love this color from my little wallpaper set. I love this pile of books from the book nut kit, as well as this little book basket. I feel like that's got a nice boho vibe to it. I think these paintings should be sized down actually, cause they're kind of bigger than the whole bed end. Are we going with budget? 4,000 simoleons. These some laundry day rugs. All of the boho curtains I want to use don't actually fit these windows, unfortunately. So we might have to go with the huge. 
Oh, we could put this like wall painting color. This would be kind of nice on the wall here with all the paint swatches and colors above the door. This looks like it's a painting that's been done and just placed on the ground, like it hasn't been hung up yet. And then I like the idea of having a dream catcher in Azure's signature color. Some bags. Oh, and then there's bookshelves that are like books from the Book Nook kit. I love the Book Nook kit. There's so much good stuff in here. Yeah, these are really cool. We want this house to feel so cozy. Oh wow, we're really going through all of the money now. A little baby plant can go up here. Oh, one with a plant in it, preferably. <laughs> have a mug next to the bed. It's just gonna feel very artsy. I think this color of blue just blends into the walls more. You know, they probably don't need dining tables because we could make community dining tables unless we want to have them in the houses. I love these shelves from the Greenhouse Haven pack. How do you think this looks as just a collection of stuff? <laughs> okay, I think that's looking really cute. We just need to get a few more pieces for the lounge room, maybe a little dining table. Um, some updates to the bathroom, and I'm just gonna fix up this path where it goes to the side of the house. Ooh, and we definitely need to do like some landscaping out the front. But it's a cute looking house. Actually, you know what? We're probably better off getting a wardrobe in here somehow. And I wanna do some stuff to the exterior of the house on this side, because this side of the house is looking pretty blank. Okay, so let's make a little bit more money. Today's mail has been, to oh no, mail means bills, you guys. Wait, let's check the community mailbox. Okay, here it is. Pay bill 690 simoleons. We're also going to have to have like a bit of a kitty to pay the bills. Cause it's not fair if only the active sim has to pay the bills. Cause that means the more sims you have, the more it's gonna cost. Oh, there's a bunny rabbit. Hello, hello. So yeah, maybe we could have a communal kitty. Maybe we could save up and get the get famous money vault and then just put money in it. Oh my God, not Mackenzie again. In the end, Eleanor Sullivan and I were not made for each other. Well, I wonder why. Whatever, Mackenzie, we are so over you. She is really refusing to do this painting. She's like, I'm not doing this. You can't go out with Eleanor because she died. Oh. This guy, I swear, what does Eleanor have to say? We're not doing that. The challenge does not allow it. I love how she's painting in the shower. I couldn't paint before because we didn't have enough money, but um, I just had to sell a couple of our new furnishings and then we're fine. Okay, so I've just been smashing through a few uh, paintings. Let's go light fireworks at the Humor and Hijinks Festival. I mean, it does sound like a bit of fun. All right, I'm just smashing out some paintings here so we have enough budget to finish the house, but I think we're gonna finish this house this episode. So next episode, we can roll for a new character. The aim is to have a little bit of leftover of money. Let's get a good night's rest and then sell all these paintings tomorrow. First off, let's pay our bills and then I wanna set up our stall right next to Mrs. Crumplebottom here. Get into this market square. Okay, place and world. Hopefully you'll place it the right way, fingers crossed. Oh, uh, uh, it wasn't exactly what I was thinking. Oh no, Girl, why would you put it there? Okay, we gotta fix this. Okay, place it here. Okay, I mean, it's not the best, but it's certainly not the worst. It's as bad as before. All right, let's stock this table and get selling. Also, I love the fit today. Okay, street sale, let's go. So currently have 1,000 smaller, simoleons, simolos, and very soon we're gonna have a lot more. 1,740, 1,036, 1,190. Can I get another few paintings up on here? Whoa, that one's stunning. I love that classic one. Why does it always have to be cheapskate sim hour whenever we're selling out paintings? We want the expense. Oh, look who it is. Look who it is thinking is so awesome in his graduation cap, Mackenzie. I can't believe we even hung out with that guy. Whatever, 1,214. Okay, I don't know how, but we've ended up with mushrooms and eggs. <laughs> okay. 1,180, 1,224 simoleons. And the best painting has been saved until last. How much are we gonna get for this? 1,174 simoleons, yay! We've made over 10,000 simoleons. That is amazing. And I feel like that is gonna be enough for us to fully renovate our house. 
Yes. I cannot believe we were out all night, no, all day until nighttime selling our paintings. We're such a hard worker. All right, so this is actually a painting by us. So that's exciting. I think we'll keep the box just in our inventory. And it's really just a whole heap of decor items that I think is gonna make this house really come together at the end. Like maybe on this side we could do, cause it's a contemporary boho house. So we need a little bit of both. Or should I say boho? Uh -huh. Again, I've been doing this for too long. Let's do some blue flowers on the side of the house. You could do a little seating area out here with a few things. That's cute. What if we added this addition to the house? Oh, it doesn't really look that good, does it? Okay, I like the idea of some baskets in the bathroom and maybe a earthy looking stool with a plant on it. We need plants in here. I cannot believe that this particular plant, my favorite plant has to be 250 simoleons. Of course it is. Let's get a little uh, shade in here. Maybe we could get some tiles as well. I so badly wish these tiles came with matching floor tiles. That would have been lovely. Up that rug in. We definitely need a proper toilet paper holder just here. And I like this couch because it's got a boho vibe with our flea market one. And I just don't see Aja as the kind of sim who watches much TV. Instead, I would see her having a record player. Pop that at the end of the bed. Instead, there's just this really nice chill out zone with books and candles and gorgeous just things. And that's what I think her house is like, which means we have $4,600 left over for bills or a community space, gardens or what have you. Okay, I don't like the fact that there's two of the same tree at the front here, actually. Does this blue tree look too out of place? I kind of like that. And you know what would be pretty? Just a little bit of water along here. Just, just if we, you know, just build down a little bit. I don't know if this will look okay. Oh, Okay, that's starting to flood a little bit. <laughs> hey, I just thought some water might be nice. You know, once you like pick the right water type and add reeds and stuff, it looks really pretty. So this is our contribution to the community. Okay, let's go into live mode and check out our gorgeous little tiny home. Oh, this is so cute. So it's our modern house from the exterior. Look at all the duckies. Okay, the ducks are kind of swimming a little bit on land, are they? Wait, duckies, you're a little bit too, too close to the land. There we go, we'll pop you over there. Oh, oh my gosh, and the fish. Okay, I can't move the fish. Okay, so here's our tiny house for Azure. Q, our first one that's been completed. So cute, her signature color is blue. It's contemporary boho style. And she's funded it all through painting. Got our little outdoor area here. I love how the leaves gently move in the trees. And let's go inside the tiny house. And here is Azure thriving, painting enjoying her new tiny home with all of the things that she needs. She's got music, she's got a little art studio space. So she can hopefully make some friends and invite them over, maybe meet a significant other. This is the kitchen area. There is a lot of blue, like I feel like you can see blue is a signature color, even though it's not crazy obvious. If you wanted to, you could definitely color coordinate all the houses to be exactly one color. But I feel like there's enough blue in here that you kind of get the idea. And then in here, this is our gorgeous boho bathroom. A boho contemporary bathroom. My favorite thing is that little toilet paper on the floor. We've come a long way. So yeah, do let me know what you think. Also let me know who you would like us to play in the next round or if we should randomize it again. Don't forget to use the code word Deligracy at checkout if you are shopping the Sim sale. As always, thank you so much to my amazing members for your ongoing support. I love you guys so much. I hope if you're enjoying the new wallpaper if you'd like to become a member you can click the link in the description down below and get access to bonus videos every week there's a whole library to watch there and updates about the channel channel all of that good stuff anyway guys thanks so much for watching i hope you're having a lovely morning afternoon or evening wherever you are in the world and i can't wait to speak to y'all soon Deck deck.